What is the boiling point of water? 100. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius. What is the boiling point of water? 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius. If I say it's 400 degrees Celsius, then what would you say? 400. Yeah. If I say it's 0 degrees Celsius, what would you say? What? Uh, I'd say that's wrong. Yeah, that is possible if you reduce the pressure. What is the boiling point of water? 100 degrees centigrade. It depends on pressure. So, the more the pressure, the less the boiling point. More the pressure, less the boiling point. What are you talking about? Huh? Can no, the more the pressure, the more the boiling point, sorry. Who is this guy? Who brought him in? So, guys, we are back again over here. Now, what I'll tell you, we just saw how many people perceive the concept of boiling point. But is that actually true? You saw some weird expressions when I told them that the boiling point of water is zero and even weirder reactions when I told them that the boiling point is 400 degrees Celsius or anything. How nice it was to see them react like this. right? Now, if I ask you what the boiling point is or how would you define boiling point, I'm sure the definition that you must have all learned throughout these years would be that, sir, it is the definition or the boiling point is the temperature at which liquid changes to gas, right? And many of you would also say that, sir, it is the point at which liquid changes to gas. Is that right? So that point is not true. Just imagine this. I have OHH. If I break the bonds, what would happen? I would get H plus O2 minus and H plus. Do you ever say while boiling water, oh, see, the vapors of H plus are coming out or O2 minus is coming out? No. You say that water vapor is being formed. So that means these bonds do not break. What actually breaks is the van der Waal forces of attraction between the two particles. Now, if in this entire beaker, I have millions of water molecules, I'll just focus upon two or three of them. So let's say there are three molecules. You can visualize it like this. Now, between this water molecule and this water molecule, I would have some intermolecular forces of attraction, which is called as the van der Waal forces of attraction. And similarly, between these two also, I would be having the van der Waal forces of attraction. So what will happen? Now, when I start heating, that heat that I'm giving is actually is getting utilized to break these van der Waal forces of attraction. And when these van der Waal forces of attraction break, the liquid changes to vapor. And that is where it starts boiling. Right? So it is actually the van der Waal forces of attraction which break and not the covalent bond. Suppose if I have my atmospheric pressure fixed at 1 atm and water is boiling at 100 degrees Celsius. Why? Because at 100 degrees Celsius, the amount of vapors that water is producing is counterbalancing the atmospheric pressure. Now, in the second case, if I lower down the atmospheric pressure, do you think water would still need 100 degrees Celsius to become or to make so much of vapor so as it can counter the atmospheric pressure? No. So, the amount of heat reduces and the temperature also decreases. So, you keep on decreasing the pressure, the boiling point would also keep on decreasing. And if you increase the pressure, the boiling point would also start increasing. So it is all a matter of this pressure. Now, one more thing. I told people or I was asking people that what is the lowest boiling point or what is the lowest temperature at which water can boil? What would you say? Now, I'll take one example or one equation which is the ideal gas equation, which you will study in the next chapter, which is thermodynamics. But over here, if you just understand this part, that there is an equation called as PV is equal to NRT, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles of the gas, R is the universal gas constant, and T is the temperature in Kelvin scale. Now, suppose if I have pressure as zero, right? So if the pressure is zero over here, this side becomes zero, if whatever be the number of moles of N or R, whatever be the value, what should be the temperature? The temperature would come out to be zero Kelvin. So the lowest boiling point that you can have is zero Kelvin. But hypothetically, zero Kelvin is there. But in the actual world, zero Kelvin does not exist. But you should not confuse. You can boil water even at minus 10 degrees Celsius, minus 20 degrees Celsius. But that is all depending on the pressure conditions. So the pressure 
is the major major factor in understanding what boiling point is take this glass place it in vacuum it will start boiling automatically because there there's no pressure so vapor pressure would be automatically getting equal to the atmospheric pressure and the water boils 